Hello friends, my name is Dunia Villanueva and I am a licensed clinical social worker with the Miami-Dade County Public Schools Department of Early Childhood Programs. I am the mental health coordinator and I'm here to provide you with some supports that you can utilize with your children, not only when you're at home, but also when you're out in the community. So we have some amazing resources on our website, so you can check out our website down below and access all of the amazing resources we've provided for you. So as we go through the videos, and hopefully you've been following along, you've seen that we've made reference to our daily routine. Our daily routine provides security, comfort, and reduces anxiety in children by creating predictability. So you might have noticed that in your daily routine, you have something called a brain break. So this is a moment to help children self-regulate or even come back to that neutral space of being. You could utilize these strategies when they're overly excited, if a child is overly busy, or in the community we say hyper. You can also utilize these strategies if a child is having a crying spell and it's difficult for them to come from their brainstem back into their frontal lobe. So I'm gonna go through some strategies and you will find them again on our website in the resources. So we have here some visual cues that you could utilize with their child and I'm with your child. I'm gonna go through all of them so that you can see how they're utilized. I'm gonna um, show that to you and then you can always have your child pick utilizing choice because we know that choice enhances the probability that a child would utilize the strategy more. So our star, our star represents smile, take a deep breath and relax. So when utilizing the star, we're gonna encourage belly breathing. So because you might have some challenges seeing my belly online, I'm utilizing this fear to mimic my belly. We're gonna encourage belly breathing while the tummy goes out. So as you inhale through your nose, you're gonna push that belly out, really, really expand that belly button. And then as you exhale out, you're gonna draw that belly in. And you could also utilize your hands with your children. I know you might not have this tool at home, so I'm gonna utilize my hands. Inhale through your nose, really expand that belly way out. And as they exhale, draw that belly up and in and exhale out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. So you could utilize three star breathing breaths and that should help your child regulate. Now I'm gonna go over and show what the balloon breathing is. So you're gonna place your hands on the top of your head. So you're gonna interlace your fingers. As you breathe in through your nose, you're gonna raise your arms, inflating that balloon, inhale. And as they exhale, pressing the top of your hands towards the top of your head, exhale out, making this sound. Inhale. Inhale. So that's our balloon breathing. I'm gonna share with you what the pretzel looks like. So the pretzel is actually using the cross lateralization of the brain, having the right hemisphere of the brain speak to the left hemisphere of your brain. So for this strategy, you're gonna have to have your child stand up. They're gonna cross their ankles. And after they cross their ankles, you're gonna have them extend those arms out. So their palms are waving to each other. We're gonna then um, roll over our hands and have our thumbs facing the floor. They're gonna bring the palms of the hands together, hugging those thumbs, hugging those fingers, and then bend at the elbows and bring those hands in close to their chest. They then are gonna take their tongue and press it towards the top of their mouth and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And again, they're gonna do this for three breaths until they release their pretzels. And now for our last breathing technique to self-regulate, to control impulses, 
And to reset a child some of our brain breaks, we're going to utilize the drain. So for the drain, they're going to extend their arms all the way out. They're going to pretend that their hands and their fingers are faucets and their fingers are the water. They're going to tighten their arms, clench in those fists, bring those shoulders close to their ears, scrunching their nose, draw their belly in, squeezing the quads, squeezing those legs together, and exhale. Shh. Inhale, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release. Shh. Inhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze in, and exhale. Shh. And if you don't see after those activities that your child is maybe not self-regulated, if you feel that they're not quite like themselves, we'll just repeat it a couple more times. This is going to help your child to find some sort of balance and control and realize that through their breath, they can learn how to control their emotions. So don't feel like you have to write all these strategies down because we have them on our website. Again, check out our website and we have everything detailed. Thank you, friends.